This is a 1979 Buick Regal that I got, believe it or not, for free. Uh, Klein and my uncle's passed away, left the car to him. So my uncle uh, gave it to me, knowing I like older GM cars. It's got uh, 73,000 miles on it. It was parked up 20 years ago when the guy couldn't drive anymore. Got very ill. So garaged it. Took very good care of it during its life. I mean, this was his uh, this was his daily driver for years uh, before I parked it. Took excellent care of it. It's got a Pontiac 301, which is not great, but you know, at least it's a V8. Got some little dings and scratches here and there, and it's under a car cover right now. Because I do not have a garage, I got to put a tarp underneath it to store it a little bit better. But uh, it's in uh, very, very nice shape. It's missing, uh, I'm not going to uncover the back. I'm trying to keep the cover on it at least somewhat. <clears throat> missing one of the back uh, body filler, bumper filler, whatever you want to call it, panels. Cracked. It's got a white land out top. It's uh, red, fire thrown red interior. Vinyl, it's a pretty basic car. Not, uh, not a limited or anything, but uh, I still love these things. I love the bench seats. The uh, glove box latch is broken, so I have to get a new latch for it. Here you can see it's an excellent interior. I mean, even that dashboard is in great, great shape. The seats, great shape. And this is all original. This was not redone or reupholstered or anything. Here's the back. See it. Uh, I came out here to start it up because it's been sitting for two weeks, which I don't like to do. But I figure we do a uh, cold start. Right, why not? Uh, you can see in there. 73, 838. No, this it didn't roll over. That's the original 73, 74,000 miles. Sun's kind of getting in, getting in the picture there. There we go. Started right up. A little bit of cranking, but not bad for. Uh, I forgot what it, what I just said it was, but I just looked on my other phone. It's uh, feels like 12 out here. So somebody put an aftermarket radio in one at some point. I'm not crazy about that, but at least that radio. Heating and air conditioning works. If my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm sick. Sinus infection, a bad one. Uh, air conditioning works amazingly. See all this stuff here. There's some wheel locks in there. And even the carpet's in great shape. Look. You know, it's a little dirty over here where you know somebody's been putting their heel. I bought carpeted floor mats for it because I hate these. Uh, I'll save the originals, obviously, but I hate the original floor mats. Never liked them. My parents had a 79 Skylark when I was younger, and I remember not liking those floor mats either. You can see the interior. Right. Oh, turn around. See the car cover in the back. It's all in great shape. I hate keeping it outside, but I don't have a garage yet to keep it in. So it's gonna have to, uh, it's gonna have to suffice for now.
get it up to operating temperature. Like I said, body filler panel. And this side is uh, is missing. Well, there goes that last piece. As far as rust too, rust underneath. I don't want to get too far down in the snow, but it's just uh, the back frame's just a little rusty. Sorry for the hard, horrible camera work. The back frame has surface rust on it, and then that's it. I mean, it's not even rusted through, it's not even scaling. The rest of the car, the underbody, the floor pans, everything still has the original uh, quote unquote undercoating on it. And like I said, I, I, I really don't even think this thing was driven in winter much, if at all. That's a testament to how nice, uh, how nice it is. Definitely needs a wash and a wax and a detail when, uh, when the weather gets nicer. But there you go. I'm gonna let this uh, run for a while. warmed up, cover back up, and hopefully wait for a nicer day to take this thing for a drive. That's it.